Hey, in this video, I share with you a great way of having a WhatsApp button to your WooCommerce website with Cadence theme so you can start communicating and interacting with your user as they type on the screen. You will need to have a Cadence Pro license as I will be creating with Cadence Elements. If this interests you, let's continue. Welcome to my channel. How is it going, guys? I'm Natalie from Sites with Natalie. If you don't know who I am, I produce videos videos about WordPress sites so you can improve your WordPress expertise without writing any line of code. As I mentioned, I will show how to add a WhatsApp click to call button to my single WooCommerce product page to be displayed in the footer area so my users can interact with the WooCommerce store, helping me to get more sales and conversions. This is a handy solution because I'm streamlining the communication and the interaction with my audience. The method I will be using is through Cadence Elements. You will need to have a Cadence Pro license entirely active and ready to be used. To start off, first ensure you have enabled the Elements option inside the Cadence interface. You don't need to save the changes, but I suggest you refresh the page. Then open up the Elements menu tab. Click Elements and add a new one. At the moment, Cadence Dashboard offers four types of Cadence elements that you can use to customize your site. The Fixed Type allows you to create an element that will be fixed on your site area. This Cadence feature is extremely powerful. I'm going to only display it on the WooCommerce product page. Click on the Fixed Type give it a name. I call it what's up, but you can name whatever you like. Now let's configure quickly the element settings by clicking on this little pencil icon. Under the placement, I need to tell Cadence the exact location for my element. This setting determines where the element can be placed on the side. Because if I was creating a fixed element, there are seven options to choose from. You can see all of them by clicking on the down arrow, fix on top among others. I want to be fixed on the footer, so I select fix bottom after, after scroll. Under priority, this setting is for, for use cases when you have other elements set in the same location. Does an element with higher priority hooked to the same location as another will show up below or after the one with lower priority. This is not the case, so I don't change anything here. Under the scroll down distance, I have decided to be 200 pixels. The position I want to be right, and the distance from edges could be 200, 200. Under the display settings, I need to set up. You can display or exclude it on your site location. I have WooCommerce installed, so I have the ability to display in a specific thing a products page location. So I want to show single products and then I select individually and then I select my product page. T-shirt with logo select but I want to keep this simple so I select all users. Now let's start designing the element itself. So click on this gear icon at your top right corner. I begin by heading the main container structure a one column row block. Just click on the head button and choose the block. Let's define now from the right sidebar the width and the height. I set my custom content max width to 20vh in order to make the column responsive. Then I select the nested column section below. Always like to begin by setting the inner column direction. For this example, I set mine to be vertical. Below the structure section, I determine the mean, the mean height to be 2vh. And by using these relative units, you are adjusting the size of the element without needing to use media queries. What I'm 
saying is the following, please. As the user viewport shrinks, this element should not be reduced beyond this height. Then I click on the plus icon to have an advanced button. I replicate the WhatsApp button styles. Then, to make the button clickable, what you can do is to insert here the button inside the button field link, the WhatsApp API information. I insert me forward and then followed by your phone number. Click on the down arrow to assume the link, update, and let's now check how this looks on the front end. So I am in a single product page. I'm scrolling and there you go. My WhatsApp button ready to be used is showing how awesome. And that's it. This is a simple solution. Now you know how to implement this on your own website. If you have learned something new and want to support me, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.